Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your Mac to the latest iOS. So let's get started. On the top left hand side of our screen, we're going to see the Apple logo. Then we're going to see system preferences and App Store. Way back in the day, we used to run all our updates in the App Store. Now, system updates will be under system preferences. So let's just tap there. Once you load that up, you're going to see this software update. That's going to be on the bottom left hand side. You're going to see software update click on it. Once you click there, you should see something like this. We can click on more info. It should be around three gigs or so. So there we go. I was actually wrong. It's 4.38 gigs. Close enough. Anyways, all system updates do require your Mac to restart. Now, before you, you do them, just in case, I always suggest going back. So I'm just going to go back and then just run Time Machine. Here's Time Machine, something installed on your Mac already. And just make that backup just in case. So if you have an external hard drive, use that to make that backup and then do the, the system update. That's just in case something goes wrong, you have a backup of everything, which includes your Mac OS. Anyways, right now what we're going to do is just click on update, which is going to be on the top right hand corner. So let me just zoom out a little bit. There we go. On the top right hand corner, we're going to see update now. Click on it. You're going to see a little contract there. Click on agree. Once we do that, it's just going to download. Now, after the download, it's just going to install. Downloading progress does depend on your Mac speed a little bit. However, it's mostly focused on your internet speed. So if you would like this to go faster, yes, you could hook up your Mac directly to your internet router using an ethernet cable. That way, this download should be a lot faster. For me, it's not going too fast because I'm doing a couple things online. And yes, if you're streaming, you're watching movies, you're downloading stuff, Yes, this will go slower, for example. Other than that, you could just leave your Mac here just to be, and that's what I usually do. Then we're just gonna see an Apple logo a loading bar and it's gonna restart by itself. And that would be it. It's a pretty fast update. Now, if you guys are updating and this is a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, make sure you have enough battery. Now, even if you do, I would highly suggest to hook it up some electricity. So that way you know that it's not gonna turn off on you all of a sudden. And that's especially important when we're installing. Doing the download process doesn't really matter. It could just shut down by mistake or whatever. It's not a huge deal. However, when it's installing the update, then things crash and really bad things could happen, which you don't want to happen. So that's why you don't want to be running out of battery when you're doing this stuff. Obviously, if you've got an iMac, Mac Pro, Mac Mini, then you're okay. There's no battery, nothing like that. So it's always hooked up some electricity. So you don't have to worry about that. Other than that, down here below, you will see automatically keep Mac up to date. I never suggest putting that there. And that's because you always want to know what's going on with your Mac. And especially if this is a work computer, you don't want this to update all of a sudden and you might have to do some work. So you want to make your own time to do your own updates. Other than that, all we can do right now is just wait. We're almost halfway there and then just gonna restart Apple logo again and then we're gonna be basically done. All right, so at this point, if you left your computer, it would just do a countdown by itself. On the top right hand corner, you're gonna see something like this. Restarting your computer in 38 seconds. I could just leave it or I can just press restart myself. So right here, I'm gonna see restart. I can just press there and it's going to restart. We're going to see an app logo and a loading bar after a black screen, obviously, because we are restarting the Mac and then we're going to be done. All right. So as mentioned, you would see a black screen and Apple logo that's just going to run. And then you're going to see everything back in your Mac and you should see something like this, where it's just going to tell you that your Mac is all up to date. And that would be it for today's video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.